There's a doctor who sees the injury 10 days after it allegedly occurred, and he's like, no way in hell is this a rug burn. Right. And this is a doctor that works in the emergency room? Pediatrician. A pediatrician who specializes in children. Yes. And he's like, no way in hell. And then a specialist that works for the police uh, confirmed the mark on your son's leg was caused by a cigarette. They sent the picture to a specialist at and they, that said, yeah, it could possibly be a burn. Any chance that you didn't do it, but you know who did? No. It was only me and my son at the house. Right. Like I told everyone, I wouldn't harm my child. That's my baby. And if someone else hurt him, I would not yeah, let him maybe, get away with maybe, it. Maybe you fell asleep with a cigarette in your mouth. No. no. I don't smoke around him. How do you explain it? How do you explain a pediatrician doctor saying this is a burn, a police specialist saying it's a burn? Uh, I myself look at this and I say, there's no way that's a, a, a rug burn on a one-month-old child. How do you explain that? Well, I was there. I was feeding him. My mom told me she picked him up off the floor. So you have no idea? Not entirely. Right. Now, you have lost custody of your son, right? Your grandmother has him? Yes. All right, and how do you get him back? Um, hopefully, today, when everything is said and done, that'll be one step closer to us getting him home. Because you're, you're facing jail time for this. Yes. And how much time are you looking at? Two to 25 years. Two to 25 years. Um, you have any criminal history at all? No, I do not. All right. So you probably won't get 25 years. But can you imagine if you got the very least two years in jail? Can you imagine it's going terrifying. to... It's terrifying. I've yeah. never been in trouble. That, and for something this serious? Well, Matt, you're not married, right? No. But Matt is the father of your child? Yes. Matt's here. He's concerned. He wants to know the truth. Let's bring out Matt. What are you hiding? I'm not hiding anything. I told you what happened. You seen the marks the next day. Look, doctors, uh, detectives, caseworkers, I don't believe you anymore. I didn't do it. I told you what happened. I showed you the next day. Um, when you look at that injury, do you, what do you see? I see a cigarette burn. You see a cigarette burn. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's pretty clear that it, it was an intentional burn. I mean, that's, that's not a, a scrape from a carpet. I mean, can your child even crawl fast enough to even get a scrape at one month old? No. I mean, he wiggles around. but that, Wiggles I mean, around. He's not a scooting bit, yeah. across the floor, right? If they ain't moving, they ain't bruising, right? When you saw the burn and it had to be fresh, well, what, did, what did you, did you confront Kayla? Uh, yes. And what'd she say? Uh, she told me the same thing she's telling you now, but after talking to, like I said, cops, caseworkers, the doctor, experts. The doctor. Burn experts. The two of you aren't together, right? We are together, Oh, yes. you're still living together? Yes. So now, so they said, we gotta take this baby out of this home Yes. and put it with the grandmother, and that's why yes. you don't have it. The reason why we are still together, because when this first happened, I believed her. But as time went on, after all the evidence I've seen and whatnot, I can no longer say 100% sure. So you, I you do have doubt that she did burn your son? Yes. What if she fails this lie detector test? I love you, but, I mean, the love is going to fade, like, faster than flies. But I'm not going to fail. Hi, Steve. This is Kelly's grandmother. As far as the incident, I saw them a day or two later, and he had a Band-Aid. I asked what happened. She told me she fell asleep, and he fell in the floor and got rug burn. I have never seen rug burn make a hole. It is a very nasty wound my great son has on his leg. I feel a rug burn would be a long scratch. Not only myself, but others that feel that there are unanswered questions and would like to really know what really happened to him. When I spoke with the detective, she told me that the picture had been sent to a specialist who stated it was not rug burn, it was a cigarette burn. Steve, this was a traumatic experience for my grandson. I just wish that you will get to the bottom of this and that Kayla will please come forth and tell the truth. Thank you. And who's Kathy? She's your aunt, right? Yes. Uh, she's here. Let's bring your Aunt Kathy out. Matt, you know she's a good mother. Well, you saw it when it happened. She's a fantastic mother. 
but, say, let's but say, what, what, what let's happens in front of me is a different story. Let's say she is a good mother, right? So let's say she is, give her the benefit of the doubt. But there's no way that that injury is a rug burn. The only reason that I think that might be possible, because I agree if it was a regular rug, but my sister-in-law's carpeting, it's that indoor-outdoor, that really scratchy stuff. Unfortunately, the picture does make it look worse than it was. It wasn't that deep. I saw the it the next morning. How about the fact that a pediatrician and a burn specialist said it is a cigarette burn? Right, but that was 11 days later. Of course, when a wound heals, it gets smaller. And not only that, it had the red around That's it. That's a perfect to show. circle. It wasn't when it happened. It, it was, what was it? Big scrape? No, it definitely wasn't a scrape. What was either. it? It was, it was just, it, was a cir it wasn't circular. It wasn't perfectly circular. It looked like <laughs> maybe three at I a time. I love when had people been. talk their way around stuff. Um, would you be surprised if she failed for burning her child? I definitely would you be. Would be you'd floored. be surprised. Uh, Matt came here, took a lie detector test, and we asked him, are you deliberately concealing any information regarding the burn mark on your son's knee? You answered no. You told the truth. We asked you, do you know for sure who burned your son? You answered no. You told the truth. <laughs> Did you cause the burn mark on your son's knee? You answered no, and you told the truth. <laughs> we asked her, are you deliberately concealing any information regarding the burn mark on your son's knee? You said no, you did not tell the truth. Oh. Do you know for sure who burned your son? You answered no, you did not tell the truth. That's a lie. Did you burn your son? You answered no, and she did not tell the truth. Oh. That's not true. Um, I didn't burn my son. I'm a, li I'm, I'm a little surprised that the uh, father walked off stage without saying anything, because if somebody hurt my child, I ain't going nowhere. Um, <laughs> hey. Does that make you happy? <laughs> Do it! Now, this, uh, mm. this is your... Uh, your, your, uh, your niece, right? Right. Still believe that it was a uh, rug burn? I don't know what to believe now. I didn't do it. Honey, then what's going on? I didn't do it. I swear to God, I was nursing him. He fell on the floor. Mommy even told you that. And she did. She okay, backed you up okay. 100%, uh, you honey, me. but I don't you understand tell me. how this can You're a mother, wrong. right? Yes. You're a mother, and you, can, you can't come on TV Take the best lie, lie detector test there is, and you can't pass it. I told the truth. And experts, a doctor, a police investigator, both said it is a burn. It's a burn. It's not a scrape. What do you want to say to her? Bye. All right. Yeah, you keep got, looking. Get, you know what? Keep looking confused. Get the hell off my stage. <laughs> Why? Why? I can't understand. I can't understand. Well, I understand. I understand because you know what? We do this story too many damn times, and I wonder what. The through your head when you're doing that. I didn't do yeah, it. I okay. dozed off. Well, you know what? You get the chance to say that to the judge, right? Because this case is ongoing. You burn your own damn child. I hope that you'll be a good dad. You get your child back. You raise them. You protect them. As for you, I hope you get all the time that's coming to you and you think about it every day when you wake up and you're behind those damn bars. Get the hell off my stage. <laughs>